If you did a complete blood count or anything in the blood count you would see that give you a hint that maybe it could be whooping cough? When we do a blood count on a child with pertussis or parapertussis causing their whooping cough, there are certain characteristic findings. The first is that the white blood cell count is very high, but it's elevated in only one compartment with only one type of white blood cell, and that's specifically the lymphocytes. And how high would you usually see these white counts? The white count may go in the 20 to 25,000 range very commonly, and more than 80% of the white blood cells will be lymphocytes in this count. Now, this is not specific for whooping cough. Is there any better test you could do to diagnose whooping cough? The most reliable test for whooping cough is a test called a direct fluorescent antibody test or a PCR test. These two tests give you the most reliable result to tell you that you have an actual infection by pertussis causing whooping cough. Of How those, are these tests done? Of those two tests, the PCR is the most reliable and it's the one presently recommended. And it's done by getting a swab from the nasopharynx, from the back of the nose, which is then smeared on a slide and then is handled in a way to identify whether the bacteria of whooping cough exists in that sample.